everybody. I'm out in eastern Washington today and I'm at the Ginkgo Petrified Forest State Park and I'm up the road just a little bit from where I was this morning. I did a hike out three miles and three miles back to a viewpoint overlooking the Columbia River. This area here has an interpretive trail. It's about 1.1 miles to see where there's some petrified wood that was still in the place where it was found. Um, this area here, this building was built in um, between 1935 and 1938 by the CCC, the Civilian Conservation Corps. And we're gonna take a walk and look at some of the petrified wood and I'll explain a little bit as far as I understand about how it came to be here. As we're walking along the path here, we're gonna go under the building and we're gonna be able to look inside the open air trailside museum that has a few photos and explanations of the area. Here we're seeing a 1938 photo of the museum building and the hillside trail behind it. These first two boards give some background information about the petrified forest and how it came to be here. I'll give a brief summary as we look out over the Columbia River where I was in the morning. Periodic basalt lava flows began in this area around 17 million years ago. And between lava flows, entire ecosystems flourished and then were buried by the next flow. About 15 to 16 million years ago, world temperatures were warmer and the climate here was moist like the southern United States. Trees like elm, sycamore, and walnut thrived, plus the ginkgo tree, which is now virtually extinct in the wild. These next two boards further explain what happened. Scientists believe that massive mud flows during the formation of the Cascade Mountains carried a variety of trees here, ones that wouldn't normally be growing side by side. Over 50 species of petrified logs are found here. They were water-soaked logs in an ancient lake when the ginkgo lava flow covered the entire area, including the lake. Then slowly, over hundreds of thousands of years, minerals replaced the wood, turning the logs to stone. The wind is starting to kick up a little bit, so hopefully the sound will uh, be clear. Have to watch out for rattlesnakes. When I stopped here at this very first piece, there's a mouse in there. <laughs> so I sat down, I'm watching the mouse, and um, Steve and I came here several years ago, and it it's not that inspiring. I call it kind of like jail for the wood because um, they're just kind of these um, grates over them. But I think that's because um, maybe people were trying to steal the petrified wood and this is the best way they can to, it's out, it's out in the open here, there's nobody keeping an eye on it, so that secures them. So as we go around, we'll see uh, quite a variety of trees that were here during that ginkgo lava flow. looking east now towards the Columbia River, which isn't too far away. This road is the Vantage Highway. We're looking down now at the Trailside Museum and the parking area, and you can see the whole general area of where the hiking trail is. Some of the logs that we're observing are easier to see than others because of the way they're positioned in the ground or sometimes because of the sunlight. The interpretive signs explain that um, these petrified logs were found 
around 1927 when they were starting construction of the Vantage Highway down here. And um, yeah, I think it was important for them to keep these logs in place so that the public could see kind of what it was like here. And who knows how many logs there might be in the hillside here. But um, I think that, you know, aside from the logs themselves, it's really interesting to see the variety of logs that were there and just kind of um, the physical landscape of how they are here in the hillside. So, um, yeah, try to keep them protected with these grates. Um, maybe they would do something different nowadays. But, um, yeah, it's really great to walk around here. So, let's keep going. to the parking lot now. Thanks for coming along with me. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you again before too long. Have a great week.